Hi, welcome to Attorney Esty channel. I'm Esty Aceron Bisnar. I'm a woman wearing many hats. I am licensed to practice law in California, New York, and Philippines. Before relocating to the U.S., I was vice governor in the province of Oriental Mindoro, Philippines. Now, aside from being a lawyer, I also sing during concerts of various Filipino artists. That's why they call me the singing lawyer. I'm also a life coach, but most of all, I'm a wife and a mom. I will regularly post inspiring, entertaining, and informative videos like law updates, about what's going on around us, about some tips being a mother and a career woman. And the best way for you to stay up to date with my videos is to subscribe now and hit that bell button. As mentioned, I play many roles in my life. This video shows more of my role as a mom. We're supposed to travel outside the U.S. last April during the kids' spring break, just like last year, but due to this pandemic, we're constrained to not travel internationally. This lockdown is no joke, especially if you still have little kids. I have two boys, one is eight and the other is five years old. So I would like to share with you the many activities we did for the past five months that we were stuck here in the U.S. That is from March to August 2020. Feel free to explore the many activities your country permits at this time. Let's not allow this pandemic to steal our happiness. So let's get started. Number one, window painting. I got this idea from a group chat and so we tried it. We just needed washable paints and painter's blue tape. And oh, the kids had a wonderful time doing this. And when I posted this on Facebook, some of my friends also tried it and messaged me that their children enjoyed it too. So why not try it? Number two, camping at home. During my youngest son's birthday, he wished that we go camping. Since we couldn't possibly do that, we simulated. Check this out. We set up our big tent inside our house, bought some picnic food, had barbecue near the tent, we ate and slept inside the tent. To have that awesome feel of a campsite, switch on your TV and find forest sites or campfire and pretend barbecuing. We had an exciting day, and the most important part of all, my son's wish granted. Number three, teach your kids how to prepare their own food or snacks. For moms out there, we know that when kids are at home, our refrigerator and pantry must be filled with food and preparing their snack one, snack two, three, four, up to fifth snack in a day would eat much of our time too. So why not teach them how to prepare their own food like fruit trays? Well, my secret, this mason jars. Well, you can also ask them to assist you bake, grill, or make own burger or shabu shabu. With this, a lot of your time is saved. Also, you can pretend that you're dining out for a change. Number four, sketching or drawing. This is one of the unimagined great things that happened to me during this pandemic period. To be honest, I had never done sketching or drawing before. I didn't know I could draw and how exciting it is to see your finished drawing. Actually, we got curious when my eldest son's drawing in school was selected to be displayed in the district office, so we were challenged to try it too. And it's like a whole new world is opened up to us. We really enjoyed our time sketching. Check this out, and it's not too late to try it. Number five, try to learn a new language. This is just one of the few activities when my sons had to use a gadget, but for a good reason. Quiero llamar al médico. Sabe su número de teléfono. Number six. Tidy, organize your storage, garage, or your family photos. 
protect those unopened items in your garage and it's time to unbox and use them. Use this time also to organize your closet and your family photo. They say that with Facebook, there will come a time that there will be no more photos because we rely on the social media to keep them for us. We will never know what will happen in the future, so to be safe, preserve what you have or have your other photos printed and place in a photo album or stored in a USB or digital photo album. Number 7. Try all those free outdoor activities within your area, like outdoor sports. We are lucky we have many public parks which allow some activities like basketball, biking, tennis, badminton, or swimming. Or you can also do beach hopping. We went to Newport Beach, Huntington Beach, and Laguna Beach. or just sitting at the park and collect pine cones. It's already fun and exciting. So try to drive a few minutes away and enjoy those free family outdoor activities. Get some fresh air and enjoy with your family. Number 8. Road trip to places you've never been before or to places you want to revisit. Of course, you have to research first whether they allow guests. And you will be surprised that almost all those hotels do allow guests at this time, subject to health protocols. The best part? It is not crowded. So, we went to Arizona Grand Canyon. The entrance is at $30 per car and we rented a cabin for less than $200 a night. We went to Meteor's Crater, a Behringer Space Museum, a world-famous Arizona attraction. And it's $12 for kids and my five-year-old is free. And for adults, it's $15. We also went to San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge, and also went to Pebble Beach Golf Course where professional golfers play. And the drive around tour is only $10 per car. Then on our way home, we took the longest route with the Pacific Coast view and we hopped on and off some public beaches along the way. It took us about 13 hours from San Francisco to home, which normally would be 6 hours, but it's all worth it. Number 9. Try to introduce to your kids your native land sport like SIPA. Ah, Number 10. Let your kids do what they want to do and join them.
kids love dressing up, so I let them wear whatever they want. Sometimes they do fashion show, and sometimes they wear pajamas all day, sports attire all day, outside church clothes all day, and even their formal suits all day. Why not? There are no functions lately, so before they get too big for it, I let them wear it all day. So literally, suit yourself. My youngest son loves to pretend he's a turtle all the time and it's hilarious when he talks about turtle turtle while asleep. Number 11. Improve yourself. The internet is our best friend during quarantine. Could you imagine this pandemic without the internet? So use this technology to our advantage. As for me, I finished online courses and got my certificate as a life coach. Well, you don't need to spend money because there are courses that offer free training or courses to improve your skills like Excel, PowerPoint, or coding, or training on how to become a virtual assistant, which is trending now. So start Googling it, grab this chance. While lockdown, I also learned and still learning how to create a movie. If you've seen my Facebook posts at SD Asuron Bisnar, you will notice how I learned it one step at a time. From just posting all photos, then I learned how to edit, then to put sound effects, then to import music from YouTube. I know I have yet to learn a lot, but I am proud I started it and progressing. So if you want to learn, don't overwhelm yourself. Do it one step at a time and you'll have a great time. I will probably share this experience in one of my future videos. So if you want it, please comment below and also do not forget to subscribe now. So let's upskill ourselves, whether related to our profession or not. Even learning how to cut your kids or husband's hair is fun. Learn how to dance and lose weight in the process. That's cool, right? And as for my son, he started playing the piano. So take this chance in our lifetime to learn more and more each day. It's for our own benefit. Number 12. Do some activities for the soul. With all the activities we're enjoying, we should not forget to pause and do some activities for our soul. We should be thankful that we are all alive. Know that we are so blessed we still enjoy life. Before this pandemic, you will notice in my Facebook post, hashtag living heaven on earth moments. If you come to think of it, if you look back prior to this pandemic, God has given us so much to enjoy that we must truly be grateful for. Amazing world, your loving family with you, laughters with friends at any and every occasion. Just with a text, you converge to the park and have picnic. You can go here and there, morning, afternoon or night, whatever time you choose. You can practically do whatever you think of. Isn't that heaven? So spiritually, try to do what you used to do, like hearing Mass on Sundays and reading Bible stories to your kids at night. We really have to balance our physical, social, and spiritual life. I believe that's the secret formula. Always be grateful for all the blessings that come our way. But please don't limit your understanding of blessings to just material things or the different places you have been to or your achievements. There are other more acclaiming blessings than those. And these are the love and support of our family. That time you're able to communicate with your family anywhere in the world. It's a blessing. The fun wonderful world we live in. The support of our friends. The smiles you see in your kids. The jokes you received from group chats. New learnings. The music while you dance. Or even the euphoric feeling when your kids finish their food or sleep early at night. 
Blessings abound in our life. We just have to start counting them. So that's it folks for our family's lockdown activities. If you like this video, please comment below or hit the like button. And do not forget to subscribe now. Till my next video, bye!